Hello everyone, I'm working on the uh, RX-78 here, and I've watched a few videos as of late that made me think I'm going to start doing things like this. What I'm talking about is videos where I discuss some sort of topic. The topic doesn't have anything to do with models. Now, before too many of you get all freaked out and worried, I will never ever discuss politics on this channel. That's not what this channel is for. I said that in an earlier update and I got one comment from one person that said, Woo! I'm glad you didn't bring politics into this. You know, half my subscribers live outside the United States, so politics for them would be very boring. So I want to just discuss random things. And you know, an example of what I'm talking about is Atomic Dog, Dr. Cranky. The Rocket Silos even started doing this occasionally. You guys just talk about things. Okay? Like Andy talked about his videos and how he thinks he's long-winded and stuff. Dr. Cranky just talks about... He goes on walks and talks while he's on a walk. Okay? And Atomic Dog just sits there and talks. So, I thought I was going to do the same thing. And I'm thinking up topics to talk about. And the one I want to start with would be choices. Okay? choices and the decisions we make in day-to-day -day life and how they affect us all right for instance you know I'm not talking about a choice you make on the way home from work to turn right at this light or wait till the next light and turn right although I could see how that choice could have an impact later in life you know you turn right at the first light and there was an accident shortly after you turned right instead of turning right at the second light which would be a little bit longer to get home but no accident I can see how that could impact your daily life okay but that's not necessarily what I'm talking about a better example of what I'm talking about is let's say you're about to graduate from high school and you're thinking about what I'm going to do in the future okay now, keep in mind, this discussion could go into politics real easily. Not going there. Okay? I'm not going to bring anything up about Republicans or Democrats or who's better or who's worse. It's, that, that's not for this channel. But what I'm talking about is this. Let's say you're graduating from high school and you're faced with a lot of choices. One choice is you go to vocational school. Another choice is you can go to college and get a liberal arts degree. Okay? Now, I'm picking this out for a reason because I recently saw this on Facebook. <sighs> All right. I saw a photo on Facebook where a guy was literally making fun at someone because they decided to get a vocational degree instead of going out and work, uh, going to college and getting a liberal arts degree. Okay, so let's discuss that choice real quick. And I'll give you guys a choice I made in my personal life in a little bit and let you know a little bit about what I'm thinking. What I'm doing right now is I'm filing pins off so that these things don't bond together permanently so I can pull the joints apart on Mr. Gundam's arms. He's armless right now. We need to give him some arms. But anyhow, so let's talk about that. Let's say our student number one decides vocational school is the way he wants to go okay auto mechanic draftsman they don't really draftsman anymore they'd be a cat operator machine operator okay that sort of thing now the graphic I saw on Facebook was someone who went to get a liberal arts degree was making fun of the guy getting the AutoCAD degree I mean getting the vocational degree and he was just saying, ah, you know, you're not going to college. What a waste of your life. Okay. Well, let's talk about that for a minute. What would an auto mechanic make who went to vocational college? I have an auto mechanic who's a, more than one auto mechanic who's a subscriber. I'm sure you guys could tell me. All right. You spend a year or two going to vocational school. You learn everything there is to know about a car engine. All right. You come back out of vocational school and you get a job, and let's say you're making forty-five, fifty thousand a year. It's not that bad of a paying job. It's enough to support your family if you're careful. 
live in a decent house in a decent neighborhood. Okay. Now let's talk about the person who gets a liberal arts degree. All right. They go out. They get their job. They they go to college for four years. Now the expense of the college for four years is far more than going to vocational school would be. I don't know, vocational school is not cheap, but neither is college, especially if you go to college far away from home, okay? There's rent and all sorts of other stuff, and the people with vocational school probably won't have, all right? You go four years, you get a degree in literature, and then you go out to find a job. College is not cheap. Let's say it costs you twenty-five, thirty thousand dollars a year. So, a lot of that can be alleviated by working while you're in school and paying your own rent and stuff. That's what I did when I went to college. I, I paid my own way through. I'm still paying on student loans, by the way, because I went to college for far longer than I should have to get a physics degree and an engineering degree. But anyhow, um. So let's say you do your liberal arts degree in four and a half years. That's one hundred and twenty thousand dollars for college, maybe a hundred. Now that counts rent, your food, your bills, car payments, insurance, everything. Because college isn't cheap. All right, you take out student loans to pay for part of that. You work for part of that. So when you get out of college, you don't have one hundred twenty thousand dollars you have to pay, but you still have some money you have to pay pay back. Now what kind of job are you going to get with a literature degree? I'm going to tell you, it's probably not the $40,000 our auto mechanic's making. Probably around thirty, thirty-five thousand. dollars Auto mechanic went to school for two years. Vocational school is probably fifteen, twenty thousand dollars a year. Probably cheaper. And he's making money sooner. The graphic I saw on Facebook was basically commenting on this fact. It was a liberal arts guy making fun of the vocational school guy for going to vocational school, saying, oh, I'm going to college, I'm better than you, and it turns out that the auto mechanic's going to make more money over his lifetime. Okay, he didn't go to college for four years. He started working earlier, so he makes more money over his lifetime. This is the kind of choice I'm talking about, you know. College isn't for everyone, and if you decide to go to college and you pick a major that's not going to make a lot of money, you need to live with that choice. Okay? That's a choice you made. It's not a choice I made for you. It's not a choice someone else made for you. If that choice makes you unhappy, then you need to change and make another choice. Okay? And that's where I'm getting to a personal story on my end of things about choices. When I was in when I got out of college, I wasn't happy with life. <sighs> now, granted, it wasn't all my in my control. I have some food. They're not sensitivities. They're not allergies because I don't die if I eat these things. But I do get very, very sick, and I was sick all the time. And being sick all the time, you are not happy with your life. Okay. And I was making choices based on being unhappy. And one day, a friend of mine, she walked up to me and said, I just can't be around you anymore. You're so unhappy. You're so negative. I'm going to move on with my life. I'm walking away. This was not a girlfriend. It was just a friend. <sighs> but it was a wake-up call. It allowed me to understand that only I control my happiness. Only I control my destiny. My happiness is not in the hands of someone else. Blaming someone else for my fate in life doesn't fix my fate in life. So if I'm blaming the food manufacturers for putting this stuff in their food and therefore I'm unhappy, that's not going to get me anywhere in life. Primarily because I'm deciding to blame someone else and then I'm unhappy. What I need to do is decide to find out what's making me sick and stop eating it. And that's what I did. From that point on, my life started improving. I started being happy. I started seeing the errors of the decisions I was making. And I started working to rectify all the problems in my life and make them better. And as an end result, 
about 10, 15 years later, I met Nellie, got married, and I'm pretty happy now. She's a wonderful woman. Okay, and she does a lot to help me and motivate me move forward in life. And if I had not met her, I never would have had these things. Okay, and if I hadn't made that choice back then to find out what's causing my food issues, clean it up, and fix my diet, I never would have found happiness. These are the kind of choices we're talking about here. The choice to consciously be happy. The choice to decide that you need to change your life. Okay? The choice that my life is mine to control, not someone else's. My destiny was my own. Okay? And this is a lesson a lot of people need to learn in life. And I suspect the ones who are unhappy have never learned it. They have not learned to look at themselves and say, I'm at fault here. I need to change what I'm doing to fix this and become a happy person. Okay? They've not learned to say that. And that's what I mean by choices. We all make choices in life, and these choices control and govern everything we do. Everywhere we go, everything we see, everyone we talk to, it's a choice. Like, if I meet someone randomly in a store, and I decide to smile and say hi, you never know what that choice is going to lead to. Okay? Another thing I saw on Facebook, and this was like two days ago, and that's what prompted me to decide to actually make this video. I've, I've read a couple of these lately. I don't share them on Facebook all that often, although one of these I did. It was about a guy walking home from school one day, and he saw a kid he'd never seen before. And the kid was carrying a huge pile of books. And a bunch of other kids come running by that guy, knocking all the books out of his hand and laughing at him, because the book spilled and ran off. And this guy decided to stop and help the kid and have a, you know, walk home with him. They found out they lived, like, around the block from each other. So they walked home having a conversation. And over the years, they became really, really good friends. Okay? The kid had been in a private school and all sorts of things. And since, since that point in time when this one guy friended him, he came out of his shell. He started dating girls. Got rid of the glasses. Got contact lenses. In general, started improving his life. Okay? And the kid that was carrying the pile of books ended up being valedictorian of his high school. And during the valedictorian address, he decided to thank the people who helped him get there. And the one person he decided to thank is the guy that stopped and helped him pick up his books. And what he did, and this caught everyone by surprise, is he told the story of why he was carrying those books. He'd been going to a private school for quite some time, and parents decided to put him in public school. And the conversion from public school to private, private school to public school, sorry, depressed him. He had no friends, he knew no one, all he did was study. And the day that this guy came across him while he was carrying that pile of books, he decided he was cleaning out his locker at high school so his mom wouldn't have to, and he was going to commit suicide when he got home. And the one guy stopping and helping him pick up those books changed his life. He realized that not all people were bad, that some people cared. He got friends out of it. He changed how he looked at life. And he started dating women, cleaned himself up, became valedictorian, and went on to be really successful. All because this one guy made the decision to stop and help him. Okay? Made the decision to stop and say, hey, you look like you could use a friend today. So you never know where these choices and these decisions are going to take us in life. One day I decided to help a woman out in my class because she was having a hard time and I showed a lot of kindness to her. Two years later, she's my wife. 
Yeah, Nellie was one of my students way back when. Okay. She just came to me and said, I'm really struggling with this class. I'm going to show you guys what I'm doing real quick. I'm following the pins down, and I'm really, really mangling those pins. Because this is a friction fit. You don't fix those pins properly. This thing fits incredibly tight, and I don't want it fitting really tight. Anyhow, getting back to my story, I could tell this woman needed a lot of help in class, and I just, she sent me an email saying, I need help with this, this is what the teacher said, and I went with it, and from that point on, we started talking a little bit. I'm not going to get into too much detail on this, for various reasons, but enough to say that one thing led to another and we ended up dating about three four months later okay and about a year and a half after that was it a year and a half after that about eight months after that yeah about eight months after that we got married and I don't regret that decision not at all again Nellie's a wonderful woman most of you know that Okay, you can see the happiness on her face when she looks at me and see it in me when I look at her. Okay, she's just a really, really good woman. But anyhow, it's all about choices. I decided that day to help a student, got to know her, found out how good and kind-hearted this student was, and look where it took me. If I hadn't stopped and found out, who knows where I'd be right now? Who knows where Nelly would be right now? We wouldn't be married, that's for sure. So, again, this is all about choices you make in life and where these choices can carry you. Okay? Start thinking about some things. Start helping people when they ask for help. You never know where that's going to take you, who you're going to meet, what's going to happen. You just don't know. Okay? Show kindness to others. You don't know who... Or what you're going to do by just being nice as you walk down the street. Okay. I'm about 99% positive I have a very successful small business because I am nice to every single person that comes through that door and go out of my way to make sure that they are happy when they leave. I've dealt with a few businesses lately. I'm not going to name names. Federal Express, for instance who did not do that and I will not use their services ever again okay anyone out there who loves Federal Express please don't be a hater I have had too many bad experiences with them as of late and that's why I said that okay experiences I do not have with any other company and they're when I called to talk to someone about it they were not even apologetic they defended themselves, but they did not apologize and say sorry. They were like, no, it's up to that person whether they behave that way. And I did not like that. What happened? So again, it's up to choices. They made a choice to lose my business, basically. I make a choice to try to keep every single customer who walks through my office happy. And it's a pretty easy decision to do. And it's worth the time and energy to do. Okay? I make a choice to be nice to almost everyone I meet. Now, I will admit, there are some people I'm not very nice to. And part of that is because they've never been nice to me, and they've shown that they don't know how to be nice to me. They've shown that they have absolutely no idea how to be nice. And those people, I put on a shelf far, far, far away from me and my own, and just isolate them out of my life. They want to behave that way, they're not worth my time, and that's a choice I make. They made the choice to behave badly, I'm making the choice to walk away from them. Because I need to make sure my family's happy and safe. Okay? So hopefully you guys get the idea what I mean by choices. Alright? And what's going on with these choices. Alright? In case you're wondering what I'm doing now, I'm removing the gate marks where I clip the part off the sprue. With these Gundam kits, just a little sanding noodle like this just takes them right off. 
I don't, I don't even trim them with a knife. It's easier for me to trim them with the sanding noodle because I can be a lot more careful with it. He's almost got arms. Now, hopefully that comes back apart because that felt really tight when it went together. Oh yeah, it is. Oh, I can get it apart. That's what I'm doing. I'm making sure I can take these things apart when I push them together because I'm going to disassemble this whole thing for painting, although this one unit right here probably does not have to be disassembled for painting in a little bit. But yeah, I can get it apart. All right, so enough about choices. And again, hopefully I was not driving anyone completely bonkers or insane with this because it's easy to do so. I mean, real, real easy to do so. Not about politics. Again, politics will never, ever be discussed on this channel. That's not what this channel is for. This channel is for discussing model building. Okay? And model building only. Well, weird. I must have missed a part in there somehow because that does not snap slide in the way I would expect it to. So I need to go back and look and see if I missed a part. Oh yeah, I did. <laughs> Good thing I snapped those pins, correct? Oh yeah, it's a very good thing I snipped those pins off there. Because I forgot a polycap. And his arm was not going to go together properly with the missing polycap. See, that was the choice I made. To talk to you guys and not pay 100% attention to what I'm doing. And I missed the polycap. And now I can't see how that polycap goes in there. It says it goes like that. Oh, it doesn't go in that one first. It goes in this one first. Oh, that can't go that way. It's got to go this way. But anyhow, I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera off. I'll come back in a little bit and review what I've done.